So this is the very, very first proposed structure of DNA. Okay. Okay. It clearly is not what it is. We know that we it's... We know that now. We know that now, <laughs> but it was directionally accurate and tactically wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In 1869, actually, there was this guy, Friedrich Miescher, who identified something called nuclein, which is what we now call DNA. He identified that inside the nucleus of cells, there were two different types of compounds. There were proteins, and then there was this other thing that he he said was nuclein, but he was like, it's probably just like some structural thing. He was like, you nuclein. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because it's in the nucleus. So then came Phoebus Levine in from 1905 to 1930. He was actually at the Rockefeller oh, Institute, Institute, which is now called the Rockefeller University. Mm -hmm. It's on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Yes. He was going into this nuclein stuff, and he discovered that there's these things called nucleotides that really make up That's the, structure the, of... the structure of nuclein. Okay. And there's three different parts to a nucleotide. You have a base, you have a sugar, mm -hmm. and you have a phosphate. Exactly. And okay. these are the things that make up my nuclein. Okay. Okay? There's four different types of nucleotides. Here we're actually showing five because RNA, which is another type of nuclein, has another type of nucleotide. But notice some of them have a single carbon ring. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then some of them have a double carbon ring. They're mm -hmm. a little bit bigger, right? They've got a pentagon on a hexagon, whereas the other guys are just a bunch of hexagons. Single right. hexagons. Yes, yes, yes. Right? Yes. And, and he noticed that there's these four different types, and he had this thing called the tetranucleotide hypothesis, which is basically that all of DNA is just basically made up of these four types of nucleic acids, that are all coming for. And this, what you're seeing here, is the first ever proposed structure for DNA. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. He's like, these four different things, there's the A, there's the C, there's the T and the G. Yep. That's adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. Mm. Those things come together and they create a structure called DNA or a nuclein at that point. And this is what confers that structural scaffold right. into the nucleus. Right. Back then, you can imagine, like, the tools that they have is not at all what the tools not, that we have, right? Not There's no x-ray crystallography. It's hey. incredible that they were able to make to, to get to this intuition and this directionality of what was correct. <laughs> Details were a little fuzzy. Yeah. 